Call the regular village board meeting for the village of Wakanda on May 2nd to order at 6 p.m. Please rise and welcome Boy Scout Troop 90 to post the colors. <laughs> Color guard attention, Scott hand salute. Color guard forward march. Color guard, color guard halt, please cross the colors. Me the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two. Color Guard Reform. Color Guard About Face. Forward March. Color Guard Halt. About face, at ease. Thank you. Great job. Thank you. Welcome, everyone. Trustee Barbini. Here. Trustee Howe. Here. Trustee Shaw. Here. Trustee Q. Here. Trustee Strauss. Here. And Trustee Stein. Here. Thank you. First item on the agenda is our proclamation, which we have four of. First one is Mental Health Awareness Month. Whereas mental health is an important for our individual well-being and vitality, as well as that of our families, communities, and businesses, and whereas stigma and stereotypes associated with mental illness often keep people from seeking treatment that can improve their quality of life. And whereas mental health recovery is a journey of healing and transformation, enabling people with mental illness to live in a community of his or her choice while striving to achieve his or her, her full potential. And whereas the village is committed to providing its employees our biggest asset with an employer assistance program to support the workplace mental health and promote well-being. Now, therefore, be it said that I, Jeff A. Sodi, Mayor of the Village of Wakanda, do hereby proclaim May 2023 as Mental Health Awareness Month in the Village of Wakanda and call upon our citizens, government agencies, public and private institutions, businesses, and schools to recommit our village to increasing awareness and the need for appropriate and accessible services for all people with mental illness remote recovery. We're going this second day of May, 2023. Next is Drinking Water Week Proclamation. Whereas water is our most valuable natural resource, and whereas drinking water is essential to the health, hydration, and hygiene needs, for the quality of life of our citizens enjoy. And where is the hard work performed by our, our entire water sector, including engineers, designing capital projects, public works, water operators, ensuring the safety and quality of drinking water, and the crews that maintain the infrastructure, Wakanda should recognize and appreciate. And whereas we are all stewards of the water infrastructure upon which current and future generations depend on. And whereas the citizens of our village are called upon to help promote our source waters from pollution, practice water conservation, and get involved with their water by familiarizing themselves with it. Now, therefore, be it said that I, Jeff A. Sodi, Mayor of the Village of Wakanda, will hereby proclaim May 7th through 13th, 2023, as Drinking Water Week. The next proclamation, Building Safety Month. <coughs> Whereas the village of Wakanda is committed to recognizing that our growth and strength depends on the safety and essential role of our homes, buildings, and infrastructure play, both in everyday life and when disasters strike. And whereas the resilience of these buildings is, is achieved through the, the, the devotion of vigilant guardians who work year-round to ensure the safe construction of buildings. And whereas it starts with you, the theme for Build Safe Building Safety Month 2023 encourages all to raise awareness about planning for safe and sustainable construction, career opportunities in building safety, 
understanding disaster mitigation, energy conservation, and creating a safe and abundant water supply to all of our benefit. And whereas each year in observance of Building Safety Month, people all over the world are asked to consider the commitment to improve building safety. Now therefore be said that I, Jeff Sodi, Mayor of the Village of Wakanda, do hereby proclaim the month of May 2023 as Building Safety Month. And lastly, National Police Week 2023. Whereas Congress and the President of the United States have designated May 15th, 2023 as Peace Officers Memorial Day and the week in which it falls as National Police Week. And whereas there are approximately 800,000 law enforcement officers <coughs> serving in communities across the United States, including the dedicated members of the Wakanda Police Department, and whereas the members of the Wakanda Police Department play an essential role in safeguarding our community and recognize their duty to serve residents, businesses, and others who visit and pass through our community. And whereas in moments of danger and uncertainty, the first people we turn, we turn to are law enforcement officers who risk their lives and sacrifice time with loved ones so that we may live in peace. And whereas it takes a special kind of courage to be a peace officer, in their extraordinary example of courage, we see the village of Wakanda at its best. And whereas on this day throughout the week, let us celebrate those who nobly serve each day and remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice. Whereas I, I call upon all citizens to observe May 15th, 2023 as Peace Officers Memorial Day. Now, therefore, be it said that I, Jeff Sorti, Mayor of the Village of Wakanda, do hereby proclaim the week of May 14th through the 20th, 2023, be National Police Week in the Village of Wakanda in honor of the men and women of the Wakanda Police Department. Thank you. Uh, okay. <coughs> and a second for the approval of the agenda. So moved. Second. Roll call, please. <coughs> Trustee Barbini? Yes. Trustee Howe? Yes. Trustee Shaw? Yes. Trustee Kuhn? Yes. Trustee Stein? Yes. And Trustee Schultz? Yes. Thank you. Motion carried. Make a motion and a second to approve consideration of consent agenda by honor and votes. Oh, so moved. Second. Roll call, please. Trustee Barbini? Yes. Trustee Howe? Yes. Trustee Shaw? Yes. Trustee Kuhn? Yes. Trustee Stein? Yes. Thank you. Motion carried, Madam Clerk. Please read consent agenda. Thank you. Item A, approval of the bills for payment from April 8, 2023 to April 21, 2023 in the amount of $467,590.53. And item B, approval of a, of a resolution that will be resolution number 2023 R 14, amending the employment agreement between the Village of Wakanda and Administrator Allison Matson. Any questions? Hearing none, may I get a motion and a second to approve items A and B on consent agenda? So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Trustee Barbini? Yes. Trustee Howe? Yes. Trustee Shaw? Yes. Trustee Kuhn? Yes. Trustee Strauss? Yes. And Trustee Stein? Yes. Thank you. Now moving on to <coughs> item 10, presentation and recognition. Anyway, anyway acknowledgement of the Lake County Canvas Board April 4, 2023 municipal election results. And they are Dave Geary at 1,183 votes, Nicole Strauss has 1,084 votes, and Thomas Shaw at 1,070 votes. Can we please welcome the Honorable Judge George D. Strickland to administer the oath of office for any trustees? Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Ladies first, um, <laughs> Ms. Strokes. Here's your right hand to be sworn. I state your name. I, Nicole Strokes. 
having been elected to the position of the trustee for the village of Wakanda. Having been elected to the position of the trustee of the village of Wakanda. In the county of Lake Forsyth. And the lake in the county of Lake Forsyth. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of trustee for the village of Wakanda. And I will faithfully discharge the, the duties of the trustee of the village of Wakanda. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations. Always something to say. Thank you. Thank you. Dave Geary. All right, she gets a memory test as she had to go. I won't go too many phrases at the time. So, I state your name. I, David Geary. Having been elected to the position of trustee for the village of Wakanda. Having been elected to the position of village trustee for Wakanda. In the county of Lake Aforsyth. In the county of Lake Aforsyth. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of trustee for the village of Wakanda. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of trustee for the village of Wakanda. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you. Last but not least, Mr. Shaw. Yeah. <laughs> I state your name. I, Thomas Shaw. Having been elected to the position of trustee for the village of Wakanda. Having been elected to the village of, to the position of trustee for the village of Wakanda. In the county of Lake Forsyth. In the county of Lake Forsyth. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of trustee for the village of Wakanda. And I will faithfully discharge the duties of trustee for the village of Wakanda. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my abilities. Congratulations. Okay. Let's see. Is that right up here? Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. You can all vote on stuff now. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. It was a good meeting. I'll be watching from back here. On to item four. Recognition of outgoing trustee John Borghini. Come on, John. Okay. We have a little something for you. Dr. John Borghini, on behalf of the Village of Wakanda elected officials and myself, we would like to thank you for your public service to the Village of Wakanda. You moved to the Village in 1994. You have served 10 years as the Wakanda School District 118 Superintendent. You retired in 2004. You were elected as Village Trustee in 2009, served for eight years. You were appointed to the Wakanda Fire and Police Commission in 2017, served for four years. You were reappointed as Village Trustee in 2021, served for two years. For over 24 years, you have selfishly volunteered your time for the betterment of Wakanda. Your leadership in both your professional and personal life is an inspiration to those that surround you. The Village of Wakanda owes you a debt of gratitude for your steadfast dedication to serving our great community. John, thank you. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to present you with a challenge sign with an inscription on the back. Great. What, no picture? 
Oh. <laughs> 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 Wait, this this is my better side. <laughs> Okay. All right, thank you. I'm going to call for recess at 6.15. Uh, mill around for a little bit, and we'll reconvene in about five minutes. Thank you.
For Chairman of the Zoning Board of Appeals Planning Commission, we appoint Brad Mayer for a one-year term ending April 30, 2024. For Vice Chairman of the Zoning Board of Appeals Planning Commission, we appoint Dave Chubik for a one-year term ending April 30, 2024. Item 5, Police Pension Board, we appoint William Glade and Ron Price for a two-year term ending April 30, 2025. And Item 6, Deputy Liquor Commissioner, appoint Tom Shaw for a one-year term ending April 30, 2024. Any questions, concerns? Hearing none, may I get a motion and a second to under new business item A, numbers 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6. So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Trustee Howe. Yes. Trustee Shaw. Abstain. Trustee Kim. Yes. Trustee Strauss. Yes. Trustee Stein. Yes. Trustee Garrett. Thank you. Now we will swear in Amanda Michael and the Zoning Board of Appeals. Still under Section A under New Business, Item 4, Board of Fire and Police Commission, appoint John Barbini for a three-year term ending April 30, 2026. So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Trustee Howe? Yes. Trustee Shaw? Yes. Trustee Kuhn? No. Okay. And Trustee Strauss? Yes. Trustee Stein? Yes. And Trustee Geary? Yes. Thank you. Now we will swear in Dr. John Barbini. Questions, concerns? 
make a motion and a second to approve item B under new business. My question is, can I make that motion or should I abstain? You can make the motion. You can make the motion. You have to abstain. I make that motion. Second. Roll call, please. Trustee Howe? Yes. Trustee Shaw? Yes. Trustee Kuhn? Yes. Trustee Strouds? Yes. Trustee Stein? Abstain. And Trustee Berry? Abstain. Thank you. And we'll see under new business. Approval of a resolution appointing the Village of Wakanda as representative, Mayor Jeff A. Sodi to serve as director, and Trustee Tom Shaw as alternate, Central Lake County Joint Action Water Agency, CLC Jawa, Board of Directors. Questions, concerns? None? Motion and a second to approve item C under new business. So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Trustee Howe? Yes. Trustee Shaw? Abstain. Trustee Kuhn? Sorry. Yes. Trustee Strouds? Yes. Trustee Stein? Yes. And Trustee Berry? Yes. Thank you. Motion carried. Item D under new business. Consideration and approval of a bid recommendation with Peter Baker and Son for the 2023 North Street Improvement Project for an amount not to exceed $1,620,377.20. Director Mann. Thanks, Mayor. Speaking specifically about the Northside Road project and the bidding process associated with that project, the following was completed. Due to the nature of the work on the south side roads and the utilities, it was decided to split the two road projects into two separate work. The north side project includes two and a half miles of road work, curb and sidewalk replacement in industrial areas off of Dale Lane and Carl Court, as well as subdivisions in Waterstone, McIntosh, Apple Country 1 and 2, and Wakanda Road. There's some stormwater improvements off Waterstone, which we've had some flooding issues in the past, as well as off Wakanda Road, which will improve the right of way off the side of the road. Plans were developed, re-bids were received, and Peter Baker was the lowest bid. Having said all that, and after discussions with Rudy, Chris, Alice, and myself, Baker has been deemed a responsible and responsible, I'm sorry, responsive and responsible bidder for this project. Staff recommends awarding the project to Peter Baker for $1,620,377.20. With that, I can answer any questions. I understand, oh, go ahead. No, you go ahead. You first. I understand from talking to Chris that we've gotten some movement from them on the issues with the previous work. Yeah, in the last week we've had some correspondence as well as we received some test results from last year's work. I feel a little bit better about approving this, given that they've stepped up a little bit. Any further questions? I'm just questioning the 1%. It seems going over everything and knowing a little bit more about contracts than I did last year, it just seems very slim 1% that this came in. It just seems a little odd to me. And again, based on discussions with Rudy, there'd be nothing in here that would exclude them from being a responsible bidder for this project. And we'd probably have some future issues if we didn't potentially award the project with them. Okay. That's what is kind of being avoided, because unless there is a determination that they're not a responsible, responsive bidder, you have to take them as a responsible, responsive bidder. And they were the low bid. And they would have standing to challenge an award to someone else. The other alternative is to reject all the bids and send them out for re-bidding, but I understand there's a timing issue. And as we discussed last week in some detail, there is plenty of money that is being withheld from that original project to cover the cost of doing it. So that secures the village's potential claim for damages. If the road has to be replaced, or sections of the old project roadway has to be replaced. Is the movement on the other issue positive moving forward? I'm sorry? Is the movement on the other issue positive movement forward, or is it just movement? Chris? Because there's a right and wrong direction. No, you're absolutely correct, Trustee Kuhn. They have provided correspondence this week indicating that testing has been done. 
Um, they provided those test results. Those test results, I believe, um, are, I mean, they're still being evaluated uh, within with, with staff. Honestly, I received them today. Uh, the results are positive, in my opinion, at this point. Um, we still need direction from them on their timeline. We will be pressing them for that. Um, but the, the fact that they're doing the testing, they provided their results, I believe is a, is a, is a good indication that they understand um, there is fault. They've not, they've not indicated that they, that they don't see the problem. Uh, the mayor has had conversations with, uh, with the president, Art Baker, and they've had, um, I would say, an understanding um, of that they're not walking away from any, any issues. Um, we are still waiting on their time frame, and until we get that time frame, we're, we're, um, we're going to continue pressing them. They understand that Curtis Night coming up in July, right? <laughs> so we've got this new project plus that possibly Correct. getting around the same time? Uh, yes. I mean, the milestone for the South project, obviously, a different, different project altogether, right. different contractors. Um, there is a milestone date for that, so that is to be done uh, in, in advance of the second now the first cruise night in July. Um, we, in the original letter that we sent to Peter Baker, uh, what, two weeks ago, I would say, uh, we indicated that Memorial Day was kind of our, our, our drop dead time frame is when we didn't want any work to be going on on Main Street. Um, I will be working diligently to, to try to get a time frame, but we've, we've identified that once once Memorial Day hits, the village has a lot of, uh, lot of functions on Main Street and right. <coughs> needs to have that, that street buttoned up. Okay. So that's been, that's been made very clear to them. But, you know, and I, I, I think I, we couldn't vote on this without making a statement here after everything the village has gone through with the roadways. Um, I'm for it. It's with concern. If they weren't such a reputable bidder in the past and with the work they've done, but it doesn't take a scientific study to tell you there's a problem with the roads. I, I've had many community members. I'm not even on the board, so I can't imagine what your phones have done. But I can tell you the roadways didn't help us any in our recent elections that we had. Uh, it was challenging because I actually took questions as just someone who was running for the board. So I hope they get it fixed. I think they should know we're paying attention. And I am, it's with reservation, but I'll support the motion. Any further questions? <coughs> Again, a motion and a second to approve item D under new business. So moved. <coughs> second. Roll call, please. Um, Trustee Howe. Yes. Trustee Shaw. Yes. Trustee Q. Yes. Trustee Strauss? No. Trustee Stein? Yes. Trustee Gary? Yes. Thank you. Motion carried. Item E under new business. Consideration and approval of the construction phase services agreement with HMG Engineers Incorporated for the 2023 North Street Improvement Project for an amount not to exceed $84,030. Recommend. Thanks, Mayor. Uh, the second half to this work would be construction oversight provided by HMG. Um, with that, staff would recommend approving the professional service agreement with HMG for $84,030. I just have one question for Chris. <clears throat> so with the, with the past, you know, things that have been happening with the road project, mm -hmm. can we get testing done? And I know last year it was fast. We had to get done before the season ended, but regardless, um, testing done while they're doing this to mitigate what we're dealing with right now? We can we can certainly look at adding uh, additional quality control. Quality, I mean, Peter Baker provides their quality control. The village can provide quality assurance um, testing in conjunction with Peter Baker um, for intensity testing for any uh, cores and, and things like that. We can certainly do um, straight edge testing on a more regular basis. And there is, there is new um, special provisions in the contract as of, as of last September 2022, so any contracts after that date, a new special provision has been created by IDOT. I, um, dis discussing the, uh, the IRI, I'm sorry, I'm blanking on the acronym at the moment, but the a, a testing method to, uh, to analyze the vertical movement of a passenger in a vehicle, that's part of the standard specifications as part of the contracts, uh, and that will be included as part of this year's project. Do we have any third-party testing <coughs> included in any of our proposals? As of right now, no, we do not. Can we just get some, some pricing on that? Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Thank I mean, you. Soil, and, soil material consultants would be a person we've worked with in the past on state-left projects, and that can be certainly discussed. Terrific. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I, I, think that, I think the general 
thing up here is watch it like a hawk, please. Absolutely. <laughs> and I think the other thing that we're that we talked with the, with Administrator Man is doing more uh, weekly updates and having construction pages on uh, the village's website so that all the residents are much more in tune with where the project is going, where what to expect, and. Um, Try to provide transparency last year, but obviously with the two projects this year, it's uh, even more paramount that we that we're, we're out in front of it and that they know who to contact if there is any issues. Did I hear that there are flyers went out to the north side project? To the correct yeah. south. Um, south, south, south side. South side. South side water um, customers mm -hmm. did receive the, the letters, right? The those affected by the water main work. Okay. Those they were notified. Additional documentation will be sent out for the road re rehab on both of the projects. Thank you. And I'm assuming we're going to be using our Everbridge communication <coughs> system and encouraging more people to sign up for that to get notifications to their phones on the construction as well. Sure, yeah. you can absolutely include that into our documentation or literature. Great. Mm -hmm. I just have one quick question. Because again, I just don't know. Was this opened up to anybody else besides HMG? I mean, we have public procurement on this, or no? there are. Aren't designated engineer, so uh, that's why we're asking. Yeah, for the future. Okay. Any further questions? <coughs> Hearing none, may I get a motion and a second to approve item E under new business? So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Um, Trustee Howe. Yes. Trustee Shaw. Yes. Trustee Kier. Yes. Trustee Strauss. No. Trustee Stein. Yes. And Trustee Gary. Yes. Thank you. Motion carried. Uh, there is no. Old business. So on to the mayor's <coughs> reports. First, I'd like to thank Dr. John Barbini for his valuable service to the community uh, and continued service. <coughs> thank you, John. And I'd like to thank Commissioner Mike Metric for his service to the uh, Wakanda community serving on the Police and Fire Commission and congratulate him on his <coughs> recent retirement, wishing him the best in his future endeavors. Welcome back, Trustee Shaw, Trustee Strouts. Thank you for your continued service to the community. I'd like to welcome Trustee Dave Gary to the board. You are in good company. I know you will serve the village well, as you've done in the past. I'd like to welcome our new ZBA member, Amanda Michael. Uh, you are in good company as well, and I know you will serve the community well, too. Speaking of people serving our community, I received this letter from our interim finance director, Tom Glazer. He sent me this right after he left. So dear Mayor, Mayor Sodi and Village Board of Trustees, I have had the priv privilege of serving as the Wakanda's Interim Finance Director for the past three months. As I leave this assignment, I wanted to let you know how much I respect and appreciated the very talented and hardworking staff at the Village, led by Allison Matson. The senior leadership at the Village is selfless, collaborative, and clearly committed to making Wakanda the best community it can possibly be. Allison is, impre is impressive, and in the depth and the breadth of her knowledge of the various government services offered by, the, by Wakanda. Her roll-up-the-sleeves attitude to get things done, the transparent manner in which she conducts business, and the collegial work environment she has fostered at the village. The department heads assembled here all are high-quality, dedicated, and skilled people. I am confident that with the continued partnership between you as dedicated elected officials and the staff that Wakanda has, and the staff, Wakanda has a very bright future. Best of luck to all of you in your future endeavors. Thomas J. Glazer. Very nice letter. <coughs> uh, I got a CL, CLC Java update. So last week I attended the, the director's meeting, and I'm pleased to report that CLC Java does have a balanced budget. They did have to move stuff around a little bit. They are also seeing the Escalation in pricing throughout the construction industry, but uh, they're in good shape. And then we approved the resolution to start the process of having Lake Zurich become a member. <coughs> Although they still need to figure out how they will fund the $150 million project. Uh, they're working on that. Knowing that, we are very fortunate that previous administration and boards had the foresight to pursue Lake Michigan water when they did. It's just really Hearing these numbers lately, it's it's mind-boggling. Um, for them to run seven miles of road from Vernon Hills to Lake Zurich, it's going to cost them close to $100 million. And I just heard that Joliet's <coughs> pursuing Lake Michigan Water. They have to run a 70-mile line at the tune of $1 billion, with a B. 
So we're very fortunate. So thank you, board members that were involved with that. Former Mayor Knight, thank you. Trust, the former Trustee Andrew Slick, thank you again. And of course, Trustee Barbee. I would like to recognize Matt Tennis of Public Works Department on receiving his license as a certified arborist. He completed a 10-week course, passed the ISA test. Not only did he pass it, but he crushed it. So thank you, Matt, for your dedication to the Village of Wakanda. We really appreciate your, your hard work. I'd like to congratulate the following staff members on their May work anniversaries. Ali Guerrero at 21 years, Mike Ayato at seven years, and Director Greg Anderson at four years. Thank you for your dedication to the Village. And with this being Clerk's Week, who knew, I would like to wish our very own Village Clerk, E.G. Radcliffe, and Deputy Clerk, Sherry Davies, on a happy Clerk's Week. And last but not least, I'd like to wish my better half, Patty, a happy anniversary as this Friday marks our 22nd anniversary. Nice. Here you go. Yeah. On to uh, Trustee Clements. Trustee Howe. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, and thanks for the information on uh, CLC Java. Um, you know, we, we got Lake Michigan water for uh, a little over $40 million. Um, so when people look around and say, is the village really doing an effective job of planning for the future? I think that's a pretty good indication that we did very well in our planning for Wakanda's future. Um, on to, um, on to my, my regular comments, I want to obviously welcome Dave Geary to the board, or should I say welcome back. Um, I know that uh, Dave will make a great addition with all of his varied experience, insight, and knowledge, so thank you. Um, also welcome to all the new committee and commission appointees. Thank you all for stepping up to serve your community. We could not run this village without your dedication. And finally, a big thank you to John Barbini. John, your insight, your wisdom, your good counsel has been invaluable. And thank you for continuing to serve going forward. Truly, my friend, thank you very much. It's been a That's it. Thank you. Trustee Shaw. Thank you, man. Uh, I want to thank Dave Barbini, too. I've only known him for a little over a year, actually. <laughs> But I want to uh, thank you for your years of continued service um, to the village. Uh, it's been a pleasure to know you, and I'm looking forward to collaborating more with you going forward. Um, I'd like to congratulate Trustee Elect Nick Strauss and newly elected Dave Garrett. Welcome aboard. Looking forward to working with you. <clears throat> I had the pleasure of going to my first Main Street mini golf crawl last Saturday. And I do have to say it was well run, and I had a really good time. <laughs> we also had the Wakanda School District 118 Shoe Recycling Contest was held last week. And as usual, the Wakanda Grade School has one again. I think it's almost their 10th time in a row. Um, congratulations and thank you to the schools for participating. Uh, we're able to collect over 1,800 shoes this year that won't be ending up in our landfills, which is about 2,000 pounds or something like that. <clears throat> I want to thank uh, Bruce Berman, Mark Kanigi, and Chuck Black for your help and support with this event. It wouldn't be a success without you. Uh, the Moose will be celebrating Cinco de Mayo this Thursday from 5 to 7. Mm -hmm. My lovely wife and me will be cooking it. Um, and the Kentucky Derby party is this Saturday starting at 3. There'll be lots of raffles, door prizes, and contests. And of course, our famous last steak fried dinner of the summer is Saturday, May 13th. So please come visit. Yeah. Will there be mint juleps? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go lunch. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Um, today it was my pleasure to represent the village of Wakanda along with administration. Uh, Administrator Matson at Lake County Partners big event meeting that back in person for the first time talking about community development economic development across the county uh, with almost 500 people so a little overwhelming but I've a great experience uh, congratulations to Trustee Shaw Trustee Sh Strouts and Trustee Geary it's been a pleasure serving with you Tom and Nicole the last two years Trustee Geary I'm looking forward to getting to know you better and learned from your years of experience and service in this community. Dr. Barbini, thank you so much for your service to Wakanda. I have learned so much from your, your experience, your financial expertise, and your ability to see and articulate that big picture uh, with thoughtfulness and direction, so thank you. To all the other people appointed to roles today in the community, thanks in advance for your service, Amanda, others, um, and your willingness <coughs> to commit your time and your talent to make this community a great place. That's all I have today. Thank you. Trustee Strauss. 
All right. To reiterate, congratulations, Trustee Shaw, Trustee Geary. Looking forward to, you know, the next four years being just as lovely as the last two I've had. And also congratulations to new commissioners, Mayor Michael and John Barbini, and all the other commissioners that were reappointed. And that's all I have. Thank you. Trustee Stein. Can I just say what you said? Just keep it short. You good? You're good? I was serious. Trustee Geary. Well, I have a couple comments to make only, but I have to recognize my lovely wife who's here in the audience with me today. It's probably the first and last time she'll be in the room. So, Eileen, and with her is my beautiful daughter, Rachel, her boyfriend, Sean. I'm very proud of Rachel. She's a school psychologist here in Wakanda, works out at Robert Crown School. And my son couldn't be here because he's coaching softball for Zion Benton High School. He's a teacher for the past five years. So I'm sure he'll try to find me later this evening. But I'm excited to be here on this board and get a chance to serve with you, Mayor Sodi. Our clerk, trustees, Moody Magna, as we support absolutely professional staff. We are so fortunate. I've sat here over the past few months and watched them work. I couldn't be more impressed with the people that you've employed. And I really look forward to working with them. And to serve the people in this community. That's why it's so important that we have good people working for us. So thanks. Thank you for being here. Amanda, welcome. I'm really happy that you're on the zoning board. I think it was a great move by the mayor and the board. Looking forward to watching you start your public service. And all those other people that were reappointed tonight for all the work they do. But John Barbini, thanks for stepping up again. I have to say, since 2009 when you were first elected, I've had the pleasure and the wonderful opportunity to have been associated with the village of Wakanda in a number of different roles. And I've gotten a chance to watch and work with you. So I can speak firsthand about your knowledge and the value that you've given to the village of Wakanda. And I would tell you, I could go on and on, but I will keep it short. But the efficiencies and the effectiveness that you brought with your background and knowledge running a large school district here and other places has really valued our community. And it helps us deliver great services to our community. So I can't personally thank you enough. Your wealth of knowledge and your contributions as they continue on the police and fire, on the police commission. We really are looking forward to that. And I want to thank you for the work you do with our schools, the village, and keep it going on the police commission. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. And I'm very impressed that you still have a program with Illinois Public Service Institute and the Rhodes Scholar. It's a new program, but I saw it's just fabulous that we're allowing our public works people to become good leaders. And there's some great training there. That's all I have. Terrific. Thank you. Any other questions, concerns? If not, may I get a motion to adjourn? So moved. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Meeting adjourned at 2.30.